Hello everybody, how are you doing today? Quickly before we get into it, I just want to thank you all uh, for the support and the, 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 the subscribers, the views, it's fucking cool as fuck, so thank you for that. Now, we have some breaking news, it's kind of, kind of crazy. If you're anything like me, you've heard the name Lizzo, who is she? Don't really know, but she's this lady, a lat are bigger than Chris Bumstead when he lat spreads. However, breaking news, pop star Lizzo, Lizzo is being sued by three of her former dancers over claims including sexual harassment and hostile work environment. She's facing a lawsuit and get this she basically forced dancers and people she works with to eat a banana that had come straight out a prostitute's front bottom now that's just crazy whatever i mean you're in amsterdam what happens in amsterdam stays in amsterdam they clearly didn't read the signs however that is just disgusting to make the people you work with do that no surprise though a woman you know she just is like this you should listen to her music it's goddamn shite it is horrific sexual harassment imagine what she's been doing all about the uh the sausage eh? we, we, oh yes former dancers are basically coming out and saying that she's a bastard she's horrible allegations of sex shows interacting with the dancers some called melissa jefferson which exactly who cares pressured to touch her bosoms her breasticles she also called attention to one of the dancers weight gain and actually uh, took the piss out of it now that is Irony. Again, not to be mean, but she started it. She was mean first, all right? You know, I'm not sure she particularly has a strong strong foot to stand on it. She is someone who's all about positivity. She sings about being happy about who you are and the skin that you're in and saying that fat is beautiful. And don't get me wrong, if you're happy, you're happy, whatever. But how can you say that and then take the mickey out of someone who's gained a bit of weight? You're probably the reason she gained weight. She's like, yeah, I want to be more like this queen. Uh-uh, no, you don't. I've got more money than you. I'm better than you. They talked about loads of weird stuff as well about like premarital sex and weird fantasies and ugh, what it, it's, stuff you don't want to hear about so when you don't know about someone what do you always do you go to wikipedia the most accurate source of information man so she plays the flute if you didn't know she's a rapper singer songwriter which is again questionable her real name's melissa jefferson she's from houston texas she's a cowboy so she's been a singer god knows how long and um if you're interested she is basically a role model for plus size people which you know positivity whatever but then she's taken the mick out of these others which is hilarious in itself uh what else is there i mean she's got fame career breakthrough because i love you you know special whatever she dresses like a fucking umpa lumpa sometimes in a, a fairy costume or something plays the flute look at that skills wow wow she plays the flute somebody get this woman a goddamn what she was in the mandalorian Oh shit, it's her. That's Lizzo. She was in Marvel. She was in Marvel as well. Jesus. But yeah, she, you know, she fights for equality, women's rights, all the good stuff. She's known for only one thing in my book, and this is this appalling scene. Keep it in your pants, Santiago. Just what the frick was that, boys? What the frick? Now, in order to do the proper research, uh, I decided to listen to some songs for 10 seconds. I listened to two, and I have to admit, her music is... Uh, best way to describe it, it, it sounds like ass. It sounds like someone is literally caving your head in with a bat. It's bad. I mean, look, I, if you like this, then that's fine. Even though if it was up to me, I'd probably have you arrested. Her music's just not good. It's pure dog muck, pure dog manure, whatever you want to call it. I ain't sure who listens to this and, and calls it a jam because I swear the only thing it's doing is jamming my poor brain cells to death, that is for certain. It's just the height of people getting too cocky with power and too arrogant. She, I mean, you know, she fat shamed people. She literally went against the one thing she's probably known for. Basically, a false imprisonment as well. So assault, false imprisonment, fired one of the dancers after they recorded a meeting. Also trying to convert other performers. I mean, forcing them, you know, forcing them to touch her breast. If this was the other way around and she had a schlong in between her thighs, this man would be arrested and he would be in consolatory confinement already and you know it, all right? Just because she's a woman and she believes in thick thighs I save lives stuff it doesn't mean she should get away with it all right she's been fat shaming she, you know it's ironic as fuck how can you do that it, it's all over the internet her, you know will this affect her who knows and again like i said i've listened to a couple songs for 10 seconds it's terrible it's so bad and you know she's advocating for larger women which i applaud whichever what have you i don't really care be happy with what you are what you do but this is the ultimate betrayal she's just proven she's exactly like the people she was trying to fight and pretend she was against the meanie babinis call people fat and judge people based just on their looks alone they're they're the problem aren't they and she's joined that side now again i have no problem with you being fat i have a problem with people promoting uh, obesity and saying being fat is fine like it's fine but it's not healthy like there are ways to get around it stop eating as much food but as long as you're happy then i'm happy that's 
the way I think. I just don't think we should promote it. Forcing someone to eat a banana fresh out, popped out from a woman. I mean, that's gross. That's disgusting. And then forcing them to eat it. Again, it's all on the news. Who knows if it's true? When you read it three, four times, you probably start to think so. But look, fun fact, I was once in Thailand and I actually saw a woman release a dove out of her private parts. And the best part was it flew away into the distance. Sun was rising and just flew off. Gone. Never seen again, the poor thing. Now, another lady dropped fish, several out of her for JJ. And now, some might call it animal abuse, but they, they don't have rules over there, I don't think. Like, you got to be fucked up to do that. Now, Lizzo, uh, she's called Melissa, so she's basically pressuring one of the plaintiffs, whatever that is, to touch her breast during a performance. That's just wrong. Again, I'm going to link to it. If you were a man doing that, you'd be arrested, you'd be flogged, you'd be hung, drawn and quartered before anyone, before you'd even appeared in court. You know, y your life would be over. But I, I think today's a good day. She's just proving that, like many other celebrities, they are not sane individuals and they are not normal. Uh, she shouldn't have been given the limelight. She doesn't know how to deal with it. Evidently, she she's basically, you know, tended she's this, that and the other when really, she doesn't give a fuck. Whatever puts these fat gold chains around her neck and these fat earrings and these all these awards and everyone knowing her name and everyone telling her she's a hero and a god and, oh, look, look up to me. You know, like, while I wear this really skimpy outfit in front of six-year-olds. Like, like I said, get on your flute, sing your bagpipes, whatever you want. But you're literally fighting to, you know, have this stereotypical image removed and that everyone is equal. Fair play to you. And then you've ruined it. You've literally ruined it so much that it's, it's hilarious. Now, again, I, but, you know, obviously I know who Lizzo is. She's known to me as twerking in She-Hulk and making me, you know, forcing me to stop watching the TV show for the rest, which is fine. It wasn't very good anyway. She's ruined it, in my opinion. I think anyone who looks up to her now needs to really look up to themselves and go, what the fuck have I done for the past two years? Following this lady who's large, but she's clearly only doing it just for the views, just for the money. Just like all these people, they don't give a shit about any of us. They don't give a shit about you, give a shit about me. She doesn't even give a shit about that girl she was stood with a minute ago. All she wants is fame and clout. She took her friends, her dancers, her colleagues, whatever you want to call it, out bloody side, all the way to Amsterdam, which by the way, beautiful place, made it weird. And now that they're complaining, she won't like it. She would think she's changed these people's lives when no, she hasn't. And it's a shame really, as you know, the public start lighting someone for their beliefs, attitudes, their positivity, their, their desire to want to change the world and change people's opinions and change viewpoints, which is important. And it turns out they're an actual Nazi behind closed doors and they don't give a shit. All they want is a fatter wallet and fatter chains. Look, I just feel sorry for the people who kind of looked up to her and, you know, all the plus size people who were uh, rightly so let down. And look, I think it just shows don't have these sort of idols, these people you look up to. Everyone does. I look at the fucking Spider-Man, bro. At least he's not real and he's never going to disappoint me. You know, at least that's the case. I mean, what's she done? She's ruined her, well, ruined her career. She'll probably get away with it because she's a woman, a plus size woman. They'll be like, oh, we'll let her off. Who cares? Who cares? Just, oh, we'll set her out of court and you give me like two million quid and we can just forget it ever happened. It's like, fucking hell. People like this should not be allowed to do that. She should be, you know, forgotten, cast aside and, well, left. Left at the side of the road and forgotten about. Turns out, it doesn't matter what size you are, she doesn't give a shit. All she wants is more money, more clout, more fame. Just like all good debates and all good viewpoints, we're going to go on Twitter because I'm sure everyone has a really good opinion on what this is. By the way, shout out to my Twitter. Oh dear, oh dear. I mean, I can't say the word because I'm a crispy white male, but everyone's saying it. She was a powering role model for young girls to look up to. So harassment, hostile work environment, it just shows they're not, they're not good people. Shouldn't look up to them. The only thing you could, only thing you should look up to is the sky and potentially Spider-Man. I will take that. See, all of them are terrible people. Doja Cat, I don't know who that is, except she shaved her eyebrows off. I know that. See, getting cancelled you're either fat or fat phobic lizzo combination see literally she is not thin i didn't say fat and she's fat phobic she hates fat people she hates her own kind it's like black people saying i hate black people does not make sense makes zero sense see everyone wants to cancel her there, there is the side of yeah simply stunning not in my book to be honest with you uh she is i'm sure a very lovely per well she's not evidently we found out but you know i don't think this sort of stuff it should be sang about oh yeah beyonce didn't sing a name which is hilarious uh i'm not sure they're big of that but i think it probably means something obesity's trending as well in the uk for fuck's sake <laughs> That is disgusting. That is outrageous. Whoever tweeted that needs arresting. Good work, ass son. Exactly, and it's that. Again, I don't give a shit if you're fat, thin, whatever you are. It doesn't matter to me. But you shouldn't, you know, promote and pretend to be this fake person where you're really good and amazing when really you're just as shit as everyone else you're trying to fight against. Like, you're a scumbag. It's simply that. I mean, look, I'm, I'm probably going to leave it there. I, I feel like I've waffled enough. She needs she needs retiring, and I never want to see her again. It's, it's outrageous that she has so many fans, all these people looking up to her, and yet she, she can't, like, be normal. And, I'm, you know, 
don't get me wrong no one's normal what's normal you have to have when you have this audience you have to be careful you have to have a certain amount of respect for you and other people around you you know you're under the watch little girls are looking up to you for positivity and rightly so they need people to look up to but you've just ruined it absolutely ruined it and if i'm honest you kind of embarrassed everything this whole movement you know that you started and you were being a part of it's just not gone very well and uh, i think she's another example of why you shouldn't look up to these people you shouldn't look up to anyone unless it's a crispy white god in the sky amen bros amen but look i really appreciate your time today what a what an epic channel I mean, an epic Twitter account. That's me, bro. No, it's not me. I really appreciate your time today. What's, what's your opinion on this, Lizzo? A music shite, we've gathered that, but what about this whole situation? People looking up to her, people really relying on her for positivity, and when they're feeling low, maybe, you know, watching some inspiration or listening to some inspiration from her, and she's ruined it. I think it's a joke, and she needs to quit and uh, leave the planet. We'll send her into space. She can go live on the moon or on Neptune or something like that, and we won't have to see her again. We can see how well her positivity does up there, hey? How about that, boys and girls? Take care, and I'll see you very soon.